The McGuire Fire, located in central Idaho, burned nearly 43,500 acres during its lifespan, which began in late August of 2012. As a result of this intensely burnt area of terrain, flash flooding could become a major threat, especially for the town of Dixie. The following is information on the potential impacts from flash flooding that may occur. The area pictured here in orange is the terrain that was severely damaged by the McGuire Fire. Rainfall runoff will accumulate in the Crooked Creek watershed, directly affecting Crooked Creek, which runs through the town of Dixie. This is the particular area of interest should flash flooding occur. Here's an example of what the terrain looks like in and around where the McGuire Fire blazed. You can see that the heavily scorched terrain has little vegetation left to soak up future rain. This type of burn scar is what primes locations such as this for high potential to see flash flooding. So what type of rainfall is necessary for burn scar flash flooding? Of the two types of rainfall I'm about to talk about, the main type of rain needed is high intensity rainfall produced by thunderstorms. Now these could be an area of thunderstorms, a single thunderstorm, or a line of thunderstorms training over the burn area. This definitely leads to a flash flood scenario. For the McGuire Fire burn area, the guidance is 0.3 or 3 tenths of an inch to half inch of rainfall in 30 minutes. The next type of rain is stratiform rainfall, which is over a prolonged period of time over the burn area, which could last for days. This is not a prime scenario for flash flooding. Why? Because we need high intensity rainfall. Here is a video showing a flash flood that occurred over a different burn area, which had the same threshold as the McGuire fire. Three tenths to one half an inch of rain in under 30 minutes. This was the result of having met that threshold. Now let's take a closer look at the Crooked Creek watershed and how flash flooding could potentially impact residents of Dixie, particularly those living close to Crooked Creek. This is a zoomed in image of downtown Dixie, which could be directly affected by flash flooding along Crooked Creek, which as you can see from the arrows, runs very closely to homes, businesses, and frequently traveled roadways. Should flash flooding occur, damage to structures and closure of roadways are likely due to the high water and debris flows caused from flash flooding. Rock washouts from upstream could deposit across portions of Main Street and Airway Drive. If the washouts are large enough, road closures could occur, causing residents to use alternate travel routes for a time. If you have any further questions on the flash flood potential from the McGuire Fire burn area, please call us at 406 329-4840 or go to our website at www.weather.gov slash Missoula.